Okay, so, all right, so here's what we got going on today. We um, have this project that we're starting. What we're going to do is we are going to take the planet size and the distance between each of these planets, and we're going to scale them down so that we can recreate these. Um, what we're going to do first of all is we're going to scale down the planet size now in math you guys did something with the candy wrappers okay and you took those candy wrappers and you made them bigger we are going to take really big things and make them smaller if you look right here you'll see here's the scale that I'm working with for this one so I have 696 million kilometers is going to be represented by one centimeter so we are really shrinking this down okay so how you do this is, let's start with Mercury, okay? You're going to take the diameter of the planet of 4,879, and you're going to divide that by your scale, okay? Um, if you remember from your math class, you probably multiply things, okay, because you want to multiply it in size. I don't want to multiply it. I want to make it smaller. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the diameter of the planet, which if you remember, um, diameter is the distance across the planet, okay? And we are going to divide that out. When you divide this out, you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 0, 1, okay? You get this really, really, really tiny number, okay, in kilometers. So this number is going to go right in here. So I have 0.00000701. Okay. Now if you look over here at the top of this, I have this is kilometers and this is centimeters. If I told you to go get a meter stick and to go measure out 0.00000701 kilometers on the meter stick, you'd probably look at me like I'm nuts. But you could do it. It would be really difficult, but you can do it, okay? The metric system, if you remember, is based on 10, as is this. Here's the tenths, hundreds, thousands, ten thousandths, blah, 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 blah. Everything goes by tens, right? Here's your one columns, your tens column, your hundreds column, your thousands column. Everything's by ten. So all we have to do to go from here to here, to go from here to here, I have to move the decimal five places to the right every single time to get every single one of these all right so how you do that take a look here and I'm gonna move it five places not five zeros but five places here's one two three four five so my have moved my decimal to 0 0.701 centimeters. Be sure you change your label. Okay. Now, if you remember in math class, the if you have a circle, okay, all the way across is the diameter. All right. Radius is from the center out. So if this is my diameter, to find the radius, divide by two. 0.35. Now, we need to make sure that these, your numbers in your radius column, have two decimal places. Okay? So, the reason for that, 0.35 centimeters is also the same as 3.5 millimeters. You really cannot get any smaller on a ruler when it comes to millimeters other than half a millimeter. If we had more precise measurements and we're doing this with lasers and computers, yes, we, we, we would want to go smaller. This is about as small as we can go. All right. So, second one. Same concept. This bottom number here is always going to stay the same for this top chart. What will change is the top part. So I have Venus. Okay. Venus has a diameter of 12,100 kilometers. Okay, to get that scale, two, three, four, five, six, divide it by 
696 million kilometers, which is going to give us, check my already done work here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 7, 3, 9, okay, kilometers. So this is going to go up here, okay. Now I need to switch it to kilometer to centimeters. So I got to move them five places to the right. So here's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I end up with 1.739. Okay, one, two, three, four, three, nine. Okay, find the radius, take this, divide it by two, and I will get 0 0.87. Okay, if you need to watch this part again to figure out how to do the top part, um, go ahead, feel free to pause this and go back and any other things, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and move on down to the bottom and show you how to do that part. Okay, so here's what we have. For this one down here, we are finding the scale distances between the planet and from the planet to the sun, okay? So essentially it's gonna be the same concept. I'm gonna go ahead and do Mercury They've already done the math for you, but I want to explain how they got that. Okay, so it's going to be the same setup as you had earlier. You're going to have the number that they've given you for the planet, which in this case is 58 million. And I'm going to divide that by what their scale is, which for us, for this section at the bottom, is going to be 5 million. Again, think about it this way. You're taking something really big, and I want to make it smaller, so I'm going to be dividing. 58 divided by 5 million that is it's going to give you 11.6 which they have right here okay the distance between the planets is 11.6 now for me it helps to kind of draw a picture to make this make sense so the distance from the sun to mercury they're saying it's going to be 11.6 centimeters there is nothing there are no planets I should rephrase that there are no planets between the Sun and Mercury, so that's why you have 11.6 here as well. All right. Now for Venus, same thing, except you're going to, not this one, but you're going to do 110 million divided by 5, okay, and that gives you 22, which they have right here, okay. Now, the next planet is going to be Venus. What this is saying is that it's 22 centimeters, according to our scale, from the Sun to Venus is 22 centimeters. Okay, that's great, but what's important to me is to know the distance between Mercury and Venus. Okay, if you look at this, the distance between the Sun and, the Merc sun and Mercury and Mercury and Venus has to add up to 22. So if I take 22 minus 11.6, I'm going to get whatever is in here, which happens to be 10.4. Okay, you can figure it out by pictures, or if you take a look at this, 22 minus 11.6, so this one minus this one is going to give us 10.4. Okay, so whatever Earth ends up to be, minus 22 would give you the distance between Venus and Earth. All right, good luck.